Today we're here with Cameron Cohen. She is a celebrity makeup artist who's worked on Amanda Bynes, uh, Miley Cyrus, even Ashton Kutcher. Um, and she is going to show us how to create the perfect nude lip. This is a very classic look. Um, it became very popular in the 60s. Um, Catherine Deneau wore it in the movie Belle du Jour. And it became so iconic that uh, NARS makeup line, when they came out with their original 12 lipsticks, they named one of the lipstick, a nude lipstick, after the movie Belle du Jour. Today, stars like Jennifer Lopez and Kim Kardashian rock this look. And they do it because it's a perfect lip to wear with a smoky eye. And those girls love a smoky eye. Uh, today, we are here also with Martine. And uh, Cameron is going to show us how to get the perfect nude lip to accompany Martine's smoky eye. So for the nude lip, your actually a very quick tool is a dry toothbrush. I'll tell you why later. A lip brush if you need it for the being on the go. A lip pencil. We have a few options here. Obviously, a lipstick, nude lipstick. We have a few options again, and then a gloss that uh, will finish it off. So for the first tool, like I said before, we're going to use a dry toothbrush. I know it sounds weird. But what this is for is if for some reason your lips dry and it needs to be exfoliated, you have some skin peeling up, you take the dry brush and you lightly brush it on the lip. It will take up the skin so that when you put your lip on, it'll be nice and smooth. Next, we're gonna go ahead and line the lip. Now, I have a couple options for the nude lip. You could use something that has more pink tone or you could use one that has more of a brown tone. I'm gonna use one that has more of a brown tone from our team. And you start at the outer corners. You bring it in, and you want to make sure just to line right on the lip. Luckily, Martine, she has a lot of color in her lip, so you could really see where the edges are. If you can't see the edge, then you're going to see the difference in the shape of the lip. So see right here how it has a ridge? You put it right at the tip of it. To achieve a fuller lip, what you can do is just fill in the outer edges like so, right here, leaving the center of the lip with outliner because the light color advances and darks recede. So what it does is it plumps up your lip. Next, when you do it, you're going to just take your lipstick and apply it. But because I'm a makeup artist, I like to use a lip brush. And then also, when you go out, you can load up a lot of lipstick on your brush. And when you do that, you could then just take this to go in your purse instead of taking a lipstick. So when you apply the lipstick, you just apply it straight to the lip. And you'll see that she had a lot of pink in her lips, so it comes through really nicely. And it's still a really nice, neutral nude lip. Next, I like to just add a little touch of gloss to the lip that makes it really shine nice and bright and always looks incredible in pictures. So I know. We all like to take tons of photos with our girlfriends, so this will make your lips look amazing. So again, I add it to my lip brush 